Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, for this um, very important hearing, and I, I'd like to request that we have a field hearing sometime in the future uh, regarding this important issue. Mr. Salmon, I, I, I flew 17 years as an airline pilot, and I, I got to tell you, uh, if you had asked an airline pilot where before 9-11 what was going to happen, we would have told you. I'm going to tell you now that I feel the next breach that will occur is going to come from the shadow of the airplane and coming from, uh, coming from the ground, hooking up to a passenger that comes in through clean through the airport. Would it surprise you, sir, if I had told you that several people, both pilots and, and ground personnel, have told me the security around the aircraft, around the aircraft coming through, um, coming from outside sources is a joke? Um, I th would think that uh, there is a lot of activity on the back side of the airport. Um, there are a lot of different people and crafts coming and going. Um, the people who have CIDA badges undergo three layers of checks. Um, does that prevent all criminal activity and whatever else? It does not. Uh, TSA does random inspections of folks um, in terms of what they are doing there. We've also had a large number of people uh, people on the back side of the airport who have reported uh, activities in terms of uh, contraband being shipped uh, in and out of aircraft. Uh, so, no, it's a very active area. Yes, sir. Okay, I, I, can, I can tell you that I have had people call me up because of my background and telling me and alerting me that this is happening. And I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you right now, the next incident is going to come from the ground. It's going to come. It's going to come from the shadow of the aircraft, and it's not going to come through the. It's not going to come through the uh, passenger terminal. I'm telling you that. Okay. Now, I don't know if you are aware. Uh, in in October 20 October of 2011, uh, Channel Two down in Hartsford Jackson Airport did a did a uh, undercover report. This is what they said. The whistleblower that went in. If I were a crazy lunatic or Osama bin Laden sympathizer. I can come in and put anything on the plane. The other, the other comment was, I can bring a gun in there if I want to, a bomb, anything, said the whistleblower. That's how easy it is. So my question to you, sir, is do you believe the TSA has sufficient procedures in place to protect the traveling public from, this, from an incident from occurring? So with regard to the whistleblower uh, and the story that's reported in the Atlanta paper, or the newspaper, or the uh, uh, TV anyway, um, first of all, they do not understand the procedures in the law. They don't understand the requirements of what has to be sealed. Um, in terms of the areas that they're talking about, people piggybacking were not a secure area. They are the catering facilities. Uh, and uh, the allegations uh, in terms of, uh, of what could or could not be done in terms of what was sealed between the carts and between the truck. Uh, the person does not understand the regulations. We've also inspected this operation uh, at least 20 times in the past several months and found that in terms of all the regulations, uh, they meet all the requirements that, uh, that, that uh, are in place. Well, it says here, this is part of the thing, it says, all, the, the, it says, he said the carts that were sealed are the liquor carts to keep employees from stealing the liquor. That was really the only things that were consistently sealed. So the, the carts can be unsealed if the truck is sealed or the driver is accompanied to the, uh, to the aircraft. So uh, there's, we've had a running contention with that reporter in terms of his understanding and reporting on what the law says and what the regulations say. Well, we know what the law says and the regulations say, but I, I, what I'm telling you, sir, is that with with this isn't a, this isn't this is just a report that has been done. But I, I'm telling you from people that are that I know that have been on that are ground pounders around the shadow of the airplane are basically reinforcing what this person is telling me. So my my question, you know, and, and when when asked, the TSA responded pretty much what you just said right now, sir. No, I'm not trying to. Right. Uh, this is bigger than pointing fingers. This is about protecting the, the flying public. This is about this is ensuring that we don't have another incident like 9/11 ever again, and I'm trying to fix the problem. I'm not trying to point blame. Trust me on that. I'm trying to make sure that we never have that incident occur again. We never have an aircraft that is used as a human missile. 
So what I'm trying to say, pretty much the response to this was all the TSA sent to Channel 2 was a generic statement reiterating that it does regular inspections on airline security operations to make sure everyone is following the rules. Now, with that said, sir, as I understand that only 17 percent of the airports have been assessed, is that correct? I think what you're referring to is the JVA. Correct. And the JVA is a, is a very in-depth uh, assessment. Uh, it's done with TSA and the FBI. Uh, it takes quite, uh, quite a bit of time, and a limited number of airports are assessed uh, each year. Okay. Well, in all due respect, sir, and I'm over my time, do you th we have a very intelligent enemy that very easily can find the weaknesses of a small airport connecting into a larger airport connecting for, further on. I don't envy you your job, trust me when I say that. But we have to be much smarter than the enemy. And I see a lot of holes here. I'm being alerted to a lot of holes, and I'm telling you where the next incident is going to occur. So with that, sir, I'll be it back.